welcome to MG Tracy. Well, our conservatory is just over three years old now, and we've started to have the bane of our life with conservatories, and that's little cracks and gaps appearing. And I think this is because whether the like the previous conservatory, which was wooden, or this one, which is UPVC over aluminium, the constant hot temperatures in the summer and the cold temperatures in the winter they make the different materials expand and contract at different rates and that's what causes the uh, gap so i'm going to show you how to fix that quickly and simply yourself today just for a few dollars so you can see the gaps here that are between the trim and the actual upvc window and this is because these are made of different materials this is actually mdf that's covered in plastic these are different types of plastic and inside there you've got aluminium and that's what causes these materials to expand and contract and create a hole so if you leave it it's unsightly it'll get worse also insects seem to love going into there as well so i'm going to show you how to fix that now this is what you need to gather together before you start your job you need a jug with some water in and some washing up liquid kitchen roll or some sort of roll to sort your hands out with you need a fine saw i'm going to be using an external frame sealant because that stays flexible after it's dried and so if you do get any more most slight movement it's the uh, joint is not going to crack in and then you will need one of these guns uh, which you can have a little play with and learn to control to do all sorts of jobs around the house from sort of adhesives and chalk fillers and frame sealant so once you've got that you can use it for lots of different jobs uh, the most important bit of this is getting the right sealant um, so i've got an external frame sealant and white because obviously the conservatory is white if you have different color conservatories you can get this in different colors or you can get it in clear um, so it's for sealing around timber aluminium windows door frames it'll really sort out anything it's water resistant which is quite good if you're filling gaps outside but it remains flexible and that's the most important bit you can also paint over it as well if you wanted to so i'll put the links for this below so your first task is to put that off there and then saw this bit off here which actually opens the pack do that on a spare bit of wood or chopping board or something the last thing you want to do is do it on your floor get the contents over the carpet or manage to saw into your laminate floor or tiles or whatever in the conservatory so this just goes through with a little saw easily and then you're just going to screw it on actually it's worth taking that bit off as well because it gets in the way that screws on tight now this is also sealed so given that we're doing small little gaps, you just need to take it off here. If you do it here, you're gonna have so much of the material, you're not gonna know what to do with it all. So just take a little bit off at an angle at the top there. So in order to do this, you're gonna thread this through the hole there, and then just gently take this up to the point where you get some resistance no more because you don't want it coming out until you're ready for the next bit and then you can gradually turn this around so that you get your angle in the right place to come along there next thing you need to do is with your jug of water a little bit of washing up liquid in there give that a slosh around to mix it in and this you dip your finger in here before you finish off and this will stop it the sealant sticking to your finger and give you quite a smooth finish so now you've got your soapy water you can put that to one side so as you do your first squeeze of this have some of your kitchen roll or paper ready because it's very easy as you start it off to get far too much coming out there we go so i just let that drop off and now i'm ready to go along a little bit more there look. Now I'm ready to go along that edge, fill in the gap but not putting too much on. Go slow, a very slight pressure on the trigger to keep it flowing. Fill 
push that bit, I'll do the same, and then we'll go along here. Then you can release the pressure on this by this button here, and that'll stop you wasting too much more coming out the end. So let's uh, put that away for now. So if I dip my finger here, and now just go across here gently. You should get almost a perfect finish first time. And now you can see that we have fixed that join. Then you just need to go around and do that to all the remainder of any gaps while you've got all your equipment ready. Now on the skirting board you can see there's a similar problem so I'm just going to repeat that process. And there you can see that one's also gone now. Um, it literally takes a minute once you've got all the equipment set up. So I really hope you found that useful. Please like, share and subscribe and come back every day for more fun and tips here on MG Tracing. I'll see you next time. Cheerio.